from a personal point of view, I still have a bit of hope, but the, the facts are dramatic. The facts are dramatic, so it's just about realizing what we have. If we kill this, we're going to die with it. So we have to be custodians of this landscape, no matter where in the world. We are part of this, honestly. That's what I believe. The challenges that face society are so multi-dimensional. No single discipline, no single body of knowledge is going to be able to single-handedly solve the challenges facing our planet. A context that brings people together and gets dialogues going across different disciplinary boundaries is so valuable in helping people broaden their understanding and their thinking. So the Wits Rural Campus was established by Wits University in 1989. It really is a campus that enables scholarly activity in a rural area, but all with the vision to contributing towards sustainable development. The campus was never established primarily as a conservation area, but it's a collection of really extensive infrastructure nested within a 350 hectare bushveld property. And the environment has always been an important part of the identity of the campus. To have a functioning savannah ecosystem where we can train our students, where we can run our savannah experiments. My research is based on the impact of food encroachment on cell organic carbon. For us to sequester carbon, we need to understand our savannah and say how can we push, what kind of role our savannah can play. So the importance of research really is trying to understand problems that we might encounter, um, understanding those problems before they can happen so that we can actually come up with solutions. I don't know of another facility like this. Just the location itself, it's humbling to work here. It's really, really humbling. The working environment is super. I mean, <laughs> being in Savannah, it's, it's, just a, it's just a dream that came true. As responsible custodians of this ecosystem, the university has an approach to the management that really reflects our values around sustainability uh, and a holistic approach to managing our resources. So those would include the direct management of the biodiversity, we seek to minimise the loss of game to poaching and so we do anti-poaching patrols. I'm working for anti-poaching to protect that animal and the people to stay inside. Eradicating alien invasive plants, but also managing our footprint on the ecosystem through rainwater harvesting, recycling our effluent water, increasingly installing solar energy into our infrastructure. All of the research that happens out of the rural campus, whether it's on site or in the rural communities, is really focused on science for impact. Across disciplines, it's all with a purpose, rather than just generating knowledge for the sake of knowledge. And that's the, the whole purpose of the facility itself. So in this experiment we're really trying to understand the competitive relationship between tree seedlings and grass, monitoring the rate of regrowth of these new shoots and the results have been quite remarkable. So we're looking at above and below ground seedling survival, trying to analyse the growth form of trees. We can't possibly hope to secure the biosphere of this planet for future generations if we only focus on formal protected areas. And OECMs are a really important vehicle for that. They provide the recognition and a framework in which to integrate these other land uses within a landscape.
complementing what's happening in the formal protected areas. I think there's a lot of scope for education facilities across South Africa and across the world to contribute to conservation globally and help reach their country's conservation targets. If we work together, combine our minds, we will actually achieve solutions to whatever that we are facing.